a bottle of the very best sherry you have. And if it isn't the real goods, I'll cut your ears off and add them to my collection of thieving wine steward's ears. Now look lively. Yeah. Yes, sir. Right away, sir. Authentic citizen de la frontier, the finest in Maracaibo. You have no cause for complaint, sir. Feeling a bit thirsty too, huh? We'll save some for the rest of us, huh? Stop! That'll hold you for a while. <laughs> Who are those men, Moko? Basques. They do the governor's dirty work. <laughs> I can't bear seeing my compatriots flying Van Golden's flag. <laughs> Get ready! Monkey? Yeah. What monkey? <laughs> Silly me. All this time I thought it was your wife making sure you didn't get too drunk. Guess I was wrong. <laughs> As a slave of Van Coolins, you should learn to mind your manners, or it'll go ill with you. Sorry, this is simply not your business, noble sir. You ill-mannered bumpkin. You are speaking to the Count of Asturias. And the cleaner of the governor's pig pen. Did you hear what my friend said? This is none of your business. <sighs> Wretched, insolent lout. In an hour, you'll be hanging from the gibbet in the town square, keeping the red pirate company. <sighs> A man should know the name of an opponent he is about to engage in a duel. I am of nobler lineage than you. Let that satisfy your curiosity. Tell me your name if you'll be not ashamed of it. I'll tell you, but it'll do you no good. You'll never tell it to anyone else. I am Emilio of Rocanella. Huh?
Brenda. I warned you, but you insisted on knowing my name. <laughs> now you'll take my secret to your grave. Help me, quickly! Don't you realize who this is, you fools? It's the Black... <laughs> So be it. Your blade is broken, Captain. Take this. It's true Toledo steel. something about that sentinel, Captain. I can take care of him without a sound. Don't you see that pike of his? He'll skewer you like a pullet. Except that he won't, because he'll have no idea I'm there. Mm. What do you think? It would be a grown man against a child. I don't like it. I may be young, but I'm not stupid. He does seem a capable lad, Carvo. Yes, the least we can do is allow him the chance to show us some of the tricks he's learned. Go ahead, kid. I'll take him the way I do the monster lizards in the jungle. Brave boy, Moko. Brave and quick on your feet. There's a place for you and my crew, if you want. Thank you, Captain. I told you I could handle him. Now, remove the prisoner and let's get on with our job.
Our mission in Maracaibo is over for now. of the Red Pirate. I take a blood oath to avenge your deaths. on your shoulders, lad. You're a worthy crew member and a blood brother. Oh! There's a group of men coming through that arch. The Basques from the tavern, or I miss my guess. Huh? By a million sharks, it's them! Carmo, listen. I want you to cover my back and be ready to attack them. Moko, take my brother's body away. Wait for us at the edge of the forest. Someone who kills people who get in his way. Your name and your station are you do not leave Maracaibo alive. We work for the governor and it's our duty to identify anybody out of the streets at night. Just remember what curiosity did to the cat. <laughs> <laughs> Satisfied yet? Come on, just fine, sir. Surprise for them.
There's no way out, Captain. Come on. <laughs> Help me force this door open. Are we gonna hide out in here? It's the only way we have of covering our tracks. <laughs> He's fast asleep. No trouble. Hey, wake up, old man. If I didn't hear him snoring, I'd think he was dead. Hey, wake up, old man. Wake up! Uh, who, who are you? Not the devil, if that's what you're worried about. All right, old man, who are you? A poor notary. <laughs> Who's ever heard of a poor notary? We're pirates. Oh, my lord. <laughs> Don't worry, we mean you no harm. We're just going to stay in your house for a few hours until we can escape. Don't do anything foolish, and you'll have nothing to fear from us. Tie him up, Carmo. That way he can't make trouble even if he wants to. <laughs> Strange. He's awake and snoring. Hmm. Someone's snoring. There must be someone else here. Monkey, I don't believe this. I'll never let you live this down. Did you hear the news? They say some pirates got into the city. I don't believe it. I saw them, they were running away from the soldiers. No pirates would dare come here after what happened to the last batch. You could bet they were trying to save the red pirate, but came just a little bit too late. <laughs> <laughs> well, it's a good thing the city's surrounded by forests. There'll always be plenty enough wood for gibbets and gallows. 